some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Virginia where a uh, soft heart has decided to play the Fafo game and, uh, well, ends up on the losing end of that. And ends up, well, in a shiny new pair of bracelets, of course. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax. And enjoy the show. Sir, officer, please tell me your reason for stop. Can I get your name and badge number? Please. Trooper Logan. Okay. Virginia State Police. Right. Badge number 736. Right. What is your reason for stopping me, officer? I'm stopping you because you have no front plate, no state inspection sticker. You came to a stop at a green light with your right turn signal on and then made a left as it turned yellow okay. and then red. So me okay. having confusion so, is a crime? So... You not complying with my orders is a Sir, crime. you opened out. my door before you even gave me a reason of step. why you stopped me. Listen. You opened my door and reached and you grabbed my... Did you not? Step out of the vehicle. Oh, you got to get somebody up here. I'm sorry, step sir. You got to get... Vehicle. I am on lunch break. Sir. Oh, I am so sorry that we inconvenienced you while you were on your lunch break. I mean, we didn't know you were going to come out here and do so many traffic violations while you were out on your lunch break. Perhaps we should be a bit more convenient and get you after you get off of work, uh, maybe that would be uh, more comforting to you? Yeah, that's a good idea because we all know traffic laws take uh, lunch breaks, don't they? Just like everything else does. Oh, look at me. I'm making people happy. I'm the magical man from Happy Land in a gumdrop house at Lollipop Lane. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I was being sarcastic. Here's how this is going to work, all right? I've told you now who I am and why I've stopped But you did not do that. So you immediately said, listen roll down your back window. We're going to see what's you in your back. Down this back. You said, window. before you do it, I rolled down my front okay. window for you so you could see here's, me and see what how, I am doing. Here's how this is going to go. Uh, apparently, he said that several times, but uh, much like any other soft, hard loser, you just completely ignored it. I mean, he told you that... Uh, you have no plate that you had stopped on a yellow light and then had your right turn signal on, then decided at that very moment to turn left and go on a yellow light. Yeah, yeah, there's just so much that you uh, probably did wrong other than that. I mean, what else did you do that the cop didn't see? That's what I'm wondering. All right. I am listen to me. Like, yeah, I am fear for my life right now. I, I need you to get this, somebody I'm up here. I'm gonna make this very clear to you. I need you to get somebody I'm up make here, this sir. Very clear to you. You're gonna step out now sir, and comply with my instructions, or you're gonna be under arrest I, for obstructing. Justice. I am not obstructing you. I just need you to un. This is this. Is Why it. do I need to step out of my vehicle if this, it's an inspection and me. something else? I didn't do anything. This listen. I did me. not do anything illegal. And those lights will show it. Me this having a wrong last, blinker. This is your last opportunity. Me having a blinker is not vehicle. Sir, what do I have to step out the vehicle for? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps Pennsylvania versus Mims for the first thing. I mean, come on now, dude. Uh, you're not exactly in a uh, good position here. But we all know what's coming. I mean, you're just trying to delay the inevitable. You know that you're about to, well, F around and find out. And, uh, well, you certainly will find out the hard way that you're not supposed to be messing around with any cops on a traffic stop well sometimes you can but the very rarely all right step out sir do you're not under arrest under you arrest for under what arrest for obstructing i'm not obstructing i just would like you to get somebody up here a unit will be on a traffic stop male resisting arrest i am not oh i am not resisting arrest i'm not i didn't do anything step out i did not do anything step officer i did not i did not do anything I do not. Please stop touching step me. Step out of the vehicle and not, now. Step out of the vehicle now. Please let me go, sir. I am on my lunch break. I am on my lunch break. Oh my God! Who the hell cares? Well, gee, you're on your lunch break. Uh, I wonder how many times that has worked uh, throughout anybody's life, saying that they're on their lunch break when they're about to get arrested by a cop. I would wager that that uh, number is right about 
Zero. Step I am on my lunch break. Vehicle. Please let me go. Please let me go. Sir. Sir. You Sir. Can step out of this vehicle. Officer, you did not give me a legitimate reason on why you're pulling me out of my vehicle. You're going to step out of this vehicle. Can somebody help me? Help! Step out help! of the vehicle. Now. Step out of the vehicle. Sir, now. please get somebody up here because this is wrong. Please get somebody up here. Step out of the vehicle now. Please get somebody up here. Step out of the vehicle. Please get somebody now. up here. Right. I didn't do anything. I did not see. Stop. Step out of the vehicle. You're going to get pepper sprayed. Do you understand? Why are you me? trying to pepper spray me? I'm not doing anything Step to you. Step out of the vehicle. Please stop comply trying. Comply with my command. Please get somebody Step up out. here. Please get somebody Step up here. Out of Please the vehicle. Do not pepper spray me. I did not do anything. Seriously, dude, you didn't do anything wrong. I mean, you acted like a complete jackass throughout this whole video, so challenging the cop's authority and everything like that, and uh, uh, trying to do a few soft, hard uh, pickup lines. And, uh, well, you say you didn't do anything wrong. Uh, buddy, you did everything wrong. All right. I did not do anything to you. Why are you trying to hurt me? I am trying to get you to comply. I am complying with, with you. And I am complying. What do you want me to do? Step what out you, of the vehicle. What For what? What is your reasoning for stepping me out of the vehicle? Like, dude, see? Aggressive ass cop. Step somebody out get of the vehicle. Somebody you have him. been given a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. Do it now. For, sir. Sir, I'm asking you, why are you trying to pull me out of my vehicle? I'm asking you, why are you trying to pull me out of my vehicle, sir? Sir. Step out. Sir. Of the vehicle. Now. Sir. Step out of the vehicle. Sir. Now. Please stop. Do you hear those sirens in the background? Soft hard. You know what that means? You effed around so much. You're about to find out. That, well, being a softard just isn't exactly a, uh, outstanding life choice. I mean, you got court costs, you got, uh, psychological evaluations that you gotta go through. I mean, uh, competency hearings. It's just one big mess that costs you thousands and thousands of dollars more than it would have if you had just Talk to like a normal few freaking human being. Please stop. I didn't do step anything. Out. I did not do on anything. Your face. On your face. I did not do anything. <laughs> They're both. Can I get both? Please. Help. Help. Somebody help. I got both of these. Sir, can you come closer, please? Sir, please. I didn't do nothing. Quella, help me. Step away from me. Help me. Step away. Quella, get my phone. Well, my little soft hard friend, how does it feel to be a complete loser in life? Uh, choosing uh, this kind of path that you go down. Uh, because, you know, it all it does is lead you to a dead end. With, uh, like I said before, major court costs, competency hearings, and everything like that. That end up costing you quite a bit of money. In the long run. But hey, I'm not exactly the one that's uh, 
getting billed for all this. I mean, that's all on your head. So, well, enjoy your new finds and everything like that. May they uh, bring you much joy, like the stupid choices that you've already had in life. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?